Hey everyone! Hi! How are we doing this week? We are here again to talk about 2024 jewelry trends. This is our and last part. Yes, this is our last session, our fourth session. If you haven't seen the other ones, you can go back and look. They're under our live videos on the Bisu Boutique's YouTube channel. And um, so in previous weeks, we talked about some of the trends that were hot for this year. And we're going to continue that with four of the last ones that I found that it seemed like they were the most prevalent ones. Well, I um, looked on the list, they mm -hmm. were repeated. <clears throat> yeah. Lauren, why don't you... Oh, hi. Hi, hey, Tara. Hi, Debbie. How you doing? Thanks for joining. So we're just getting started talking about trends. So what are the trends that we're talking about this week? We are talking about hoops. We are talking about asymmetrical. We're talking about brooches and ocean or beach themed jewelry. So um, we're going to see how those fit into the trends and how they fit into what we do here um, in our jewelry making fun at Bisu Boutiques. So let's get started. So what do we want to start with, Lauren? Oceanic. Okay, Lauren's a mermaid at heart. Yes, I am. So she would like to start with Oceanic. Lauren, why don't you, while you're standing there, th throw a little post on the group just to let them know that we're here in case anybody was wanting to join and they didn't realize that we were already on. So, okay, we're going to start with Ocean. So, Ocean is usually kind of a thing, especially in summer, but this year it's really big. So let me show you because this picture cracked me up. I have a couple of pictures to show you that I took from uh, the internet and things on the runway and whatnot and what's going on in Her and I saw ocean. the same one. Hey, Deborah. So I'm going to, I think this is really fun. Okay, so we all know that when you look at the fashion runways, things tend to be really outlandish and exaggerated, right? Like, a lot of times when you look at that stuff, you go, okay, I'm not wearing that. I would never wear that. But it gives you the inspiration for what the trend is going to be and what uh, gives you ideas on what you can do to make it fit everyday life, I would say, because this does not. But, so let's take a look at this. I'm going to have Lauren show it here in a second. She's just posting to the group, so in case anybody was wanting to hop on they can so Lauren pull this up there and show this because this is crazy but this is a girl on the runway wearing some ocean inspired jewelry now what do we think of that giant lobster crawling up her she must live in Maine <laughs> I don't know kind of cool but kind of crazy and big right you see people like this Colleen <laughs> she lives right? in Maine hi Gloria so yeah, that's a bit crazy with her giant lobster, but you get the idea. She's his lobster. Here is a pair of earrings I found that are also oh, very, are cool. they're cool. They're pretty outlandish and yeah. big, but they're kind of cool. Yeah. They're very ocean looking, right? And that flat, that petal behind her looks very much like our swatted flower that uh -huh. we sell. Yeah, so you could just cut like a petal off. And uh -huh. I just, I think it's co kind of cool. I think with the right outfit, with the right hairdo. Gloria, Miss Gloria, I can see you rock these. Oh, I would wear them too. You know I would. Mm -hmm. And then the last picture I have, and then we'll get into some stuff that we have, but the last picture I have is this, and this is much more, more simple. simple. So just because it's ocean, pull that down, just because it's ocean doesn't mean it has to be over the top. No, down one. I know. I'm trying to get all of it. It's over the top cr crazy. Down. Go down. There you go. A little up you went too far okay. Well, okay hi mary yeah right pass on that lobster it's a bit huge okay <laughs> like like a little crazy huge okay so those are just some of the pictures that i saw on the internet but let's see what we have that could be more wearable now for instance this picture that lauren showed of the girl with the shell right lauren where's your necklace 
Um, if I can get through. Hold Don't please. knock over the camera. I know, right? Okay, okay. so we're going to show that something Lauren made that is reminiscent of this. Mine's not as simple, though. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's almost. I mean, it's somewhat. No, hold it up there. Hold it up there because we're not down to the counter yet. I know. We can come down if you want. Do you want to? But we'll have it, to come back up later. Do you want later. to put it on? Sure. Okay. Hold it up there first, and then I'll put it on. Because then it might be easier for them to see it. Okay. So she it. took a shell that we have a big pendant shell. It was raw brass. Flip so it. Un it's raw brass, but then she painted it, and I love it. Get it closer. There you go. Look at how cute she painted that. I love it. And show them your chain and your little dangle. Oh, your little lavalier thing there. Get that up there. That's so cute. I'm trying, Mom. I know. We're up a little high. Sorry. Yeah. So, so cute. And then your chain. Which, actually, the little beads in between my chain are little shells. Yeah, little blue shells. So, so cute. Okay, let me put it on if I can. Let's see. It is a longer necklace. Which is also a trend uh -huh. this year. Yeah, I'm not gonna. All right, well just hold it up and then we can kind of. So you can see, see how that, that falls. Uh, here, wait, let me. Oh, don't mind my horrible hair, yikes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, now take that back out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's one idea, and that's pretty similar I'm to move this over here. What this girl was easier for me. The idea of what she was wearing. So I thought that was really cute. Ah. Sorry guys. And you can just make it your own. Whoa. Sorry. Earthquake. <laughs> okay. So what else can we do, Ocean? You know what? We should come down to the counter, and then Next we'll have step. to come back up later. We're a little crazy today, guys. Okay. So crazy. Okay. Yeah. We're going down. Sing, Lauren. Oh, yeah, I did that down last week. Down in a blaze of glory. Okay. Where I did that last week. Oh, you just want the phone? No. Oh, okay. Well, let's no. Go. Okay. 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 All right, but it might need to come lower on the stand. Well, I can zoom. Okay. Show your... Now, we were talking about that big lobster... But we have this guy. We have Ookie. Mm. Our little octopus guy. He's super fun. But now, what did Lauren do with this? You see beads all over this. She did something pretty clever with this one. Alright, so... Hold the phone a moment. She's yeah. going to get herself prepared to show you. Yeah, it takes a sec to get it on. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not gonna. Can you? Okay. If not, then we'll just show it. Yeah. Okay. We're just gonna. Oh, you want me to hook it? You don't have to. Because okay. he takes some more. Yeah, it takes forever. Okay, so I made a hand bracelet with him. Okay, now how cute. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna try to turn my hands. How cute is that? And then I. Just and so then the chain. Obviously, hooks behind her wrist. I need to. I need more chain. Like I kind of messed up a little bit, and I didn't make it quite long enough. It's kind of a stretch, but yeah. But I love him. Yeah, the kitchen's cute here, isn't it? Yay, Pat! You made it. So yeah, he's super cute. Now he and could obviously also be a long necklace, and, and like, I will show you. And like I used, he's good for putting beads those little loops in his yeah and we have him in a couple different colors here i don't know where i'm at there we go but yeah hit, hit those little loops in his yeah okay so here is silver we have him in a bright silver oh thank you that's this one i'll show you the number can i get your name Floor Marina. There's a number on that one. And then we also have him, and this one is going to be one that I might try. We have him in the black mat, and if you've been checking out what 
B. Sue has been doing with Perfect Pearls. Could you imagine him? Oh, in the purple. Either purple or green or blue or any old color. I mean, he would just pop. But I, but I think because the black and purple, oh, the, Ursula. Oh, of course, Lauren's thinking Disney. Lauren goes straight to Little Mermaid. Little, little Mermaid. The mermaid at heart goes right movie. there. But could you imagine him with perfect pearls? Or the, the lunar pay. Oh. Or no, the solar. solar. The solar. Paste. Don't we have a purpley one? Yeah, we have a green one. We have a blue one. I mean, he would look amazing. So here is the number for that one. I'm going to. Lauren, you're making people dizzy. Sorry. There you okay, go. so there's that one. Okay, what else do we have, I have the, for under the sea? Which this also fits with asymmetrical. Oh, yes. Lauren made a mermaid. Necklace. And yes, it's why is it asymmetrical? Okay, because she's a little asymmetrical. And then there's four bigger beads over here as opposed to over here. I did our clear bubble beads. So it almost looks like she's like on her way swimming up to the surface. Yeah. And like the bubbles from her breathing are coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't the black octopus fab, Debbie? I love it. I know, right? Anyway. Hey, Darcy. I know, Gloria, right? The ookie's so cute. Okay. Which so we have other ookies. I showed. We have black, we have silver. No, the, the different, the other two. What? You had two, well. Yeah, these are them, right? No, here. styles. We have two other octopuses, is what I mean. Oh, you show the little one, this one, because you we made have, something. And you pulled that one. Too. Yes. Okay, so here is a little guy. He's like an Look octopus. Look how cute squid. he is. Whoops, wrong way. Hey, Karma. Okay, so that Lauren made something with him. And Here's this one's more simple. I did it on a black corded necklace, a finished cord necklace, which we have those up on Etsy. I just okay, put wait, some one minute. up. Just to show you, Lauren was saying we have the oh, yeah. Uki in a teeny little one. And he has a, a hole, so he's like perfect for earrings. Yeah, he has a hole at the top of his head. Or a choker. He'd be perfect for a little... Simple choker. And he, let's, let's look at the size difference. Oh, yeah. Major between size. Between the two. Yeah, you will see. Major size difference. Uh, Here, let me. No, it's okay. There we go. So he'd be perfect for little matching earrings. Hi, Andrea. And I'll show you his little number. And then Lauren will show you the necklace that she made out of the other one. There you go. Okay, so that's that little guy. Okay. And he's zinc. Alright, so this is what I made with the little octopus. He's so cute. Hi, Andrea! So, I just did this on a finished leather black cord. Yeah, he's cute, isn't he, Deborah? Alright. My beads are kind of... So, he, he would fit closer up to the neck. Uh-huh. On this cord that she did. Okay, this is some. Now I made a long necklace. This one's long. Very long. Very, very long. And it hangs down low, but Lauren, you can show this okay. up. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. It's fine. Okay. I'm gonna come over here. I did this with mermaid sand. Which we pulled a mermaid to show you guys. And this one actually has and shells. And a little turtle off the bottom. And this, I put a little starfish and a little seahorse. And these have starfish in them as well. But we do have the metal starfish that mom has. Now, you can do this with resin. Hey, Jan. I know the little guy is so cute, isn't he? You can do this oh, with Dad resin. Oh, Dad says she hasn't seen him before. No. You can... I'm doing this wrong. You can do this with resin... But I think I did this with E6000. I think I just put E6000 in yeah, the frame. Yeah, I think it was before we had the resin. Yeah, and the I UV. just added the, and then a little, and then I just did some ocean colored beads. 
So this particular mermaid tan that I pulled, it has the bone starfish in it. It has shell pieces, glass shell pieces, and then it has actual sea shells in it as well. And then a bunch of little pearlies, no hope pearlies, and other fun stuff. There's one of the shells, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a seashell right there um, by my thumb. Um, here's another like little conch style shell right in there. But this is a great mix. And this is um, Mer, M-E-R-05129. So that one, you get a lot of stuff. Like I said, you get the, the colored shell, you get actual natural shells, you get the bones, uh, starfishes. So everything in this mix that you kind of need to kind of recreate your own version of mom's necklace right here in this little baggie ready for you to go. And I wanted to show you too, I forgot to show you when she was showing this necklace that she made. So we have that shell and we also have it in a mini in, size. So you can make a necklace and earrings pair. Or you could hang a few of these up the chain, you know, um, from the necklace. But we have both of those as well. Okay, now you could do this with glitter paste. You could do uh, just acrylic paint. I'm gonna be honest here. Do you know what I used to paint this, guys? What? Nail polish. Oh, look at you getting clever. But I tried to make it look distressed like it was an actual seashell that had been washed up and hit like a bunch of times over the years. Nice work. But yeah, <laughs> so there you go. Okay, I'm gonna show you a couple other things we have that work in with the ocean. Friend. We have these little guys, sand dollars, charms, they're super cute. Here's the number for that one. Oh, thanks, Denise. We have, okay, Everyone's so. Everyone's loving your necklace. Oh, thanks. Okay, so I'll show you something. The, the little turtle that was in there. He was in a mermaid sand mix at some point. I don't know that we have any with him anymore, but we do have this little guy. He's so cute. He, he is adorable, and you could colorize him, of course. Actually. And these are great for chokers, too, which is one of the trends that we talked about mm -hmm. before. That's the number for him. We have this little shell. I'll show you two more. I'm getting a little crazy with the ocean stuff, but I but love, love summer it. and I love ocean. Here's two more. That's conch style. And then this one says summer on it. It's yeah. hard to see, but it says summer across it. And it's shimmery, like it's got glitter in it, in that I paint. love it's this an enamel. other one. Nope, this one for earrings. Aw, thank Rosa. Okay. And then here's one other last little idea. Oh, yeah, Lauren wanted me to... We have two more ideas. I'm sorry. We're getting ahead of ourselves. I have this, too, if you want to show. Oh, nice, Rosa. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Denise. I had to show at least one more mermaid, Mom. All right, we have these little mermaids. We have a lot of mermaids, but Lauren wanted me to show these. You get a pack of six, and they make really cute little pendants or earrings, and they have a little mermaid just kind of sitting there hanging out. she cute she's very cute and you get six of those she went back in this bag and then I made a pendant with resin this was resin and I actually colored here you can show both at the same time oh mom so made one too on. um I colored my resin mom left hers so that one is mine, and I colorized it and kind of made it like ombre. And did rope border for the pendant. And then I put an anchor, which we have this anchor in a couple different um, finishes. We have it in the brass ox, and we also have it in that aqua color. 
And then mom's, and I actually left mine so it stuck up just a little bit. Like it's kind of sunken in the resin, but then like a little part of it is stuck Thank up. you, Mary. And then this one is mom's, and she did shells with hers. And tiny, tiny, tiny little no-hole pearls for little bubbles. So it looks like it's like the seashore, like the sand, and then the water like coming up to like meet the seashells. Yeah, so, so the she used... Um, mermaid sand and shells. But she used uh, a bezel that was backless and filled it with resin. Yeah. And then lastly for ocean, I wanted to show you these beads that we have. We have three other colors besides these colors, mm -hmm. but I love these. My favorite is the, the black one with the blue. I have the one that's darker than this. It's like a deep dark blue we have it in red mm -hmm. with gold i mean these are really cool shell beads okay that's enough of ocean what are we going to talk about next uh you could do the asymmetrical okay asymmetrical what makes something asymmetrical oh wait a minute oh i showed all my never mind i showed all my ocean pictures yeah you did Oh, oh. <laughs> need a tutorial, Lauren. What, what? That's okay, Cherie. Thank you a... for letting us know. Oh, hey, Cherie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Okay, so. Yeah, you can always go back and rewatch what you missed, Cherie. Asymmetrical. What makes something asymmetrical? What would you say, Lauren? Um... Something that's a little off kilter. Okay. <laughs> or, yeah, it could be that. It could be something that it's is... It's opposites. Could be opposites. Opposite. Could be off kilter. Could be like one thing on one side and one thing on the what, other like side. Like shorter, longer. So, for example, here is a picture of an asymmetrical necklace. Why is it asymmetrical? This one's kind of obvious. There's beads on one side. And chain, metal chain. And ribbon. No, this is like ribbon or leather. No, I mean up here. Yeah. And, and then like, that's just like cord. Cord on, or leather, like leather on the other side. But it's a very cool look. Mm -hmm. Here's another example of asymmetrical. I have a hard time with asymmetrical. I think this one is an easier yeah. style of... <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> She's needy today. You're okay. very needy. We'll... we'll, we'll <laughs> We'll let you be needy. It's okay. We all have needy days. So this one is a little bit of an easier style of asymmetrical, I think. Yeah. Because it's, it isn't uh, symmetrical in the shape, but yeah. you're using different styles of beads. Well, these ones are larger than this size, but it's still, it, like, this one's easier for yeah. me. Yeah, this would be a much easier style for you to try. The to longer, do shorter, specifically with, like, earrings, is hard for me. Right. Like, I can make them, but I'm just like... Uh, okay, Lauren, you want to see a really exaggerated version of that? <laughs> no, that one I feel Here was more. something else from the runway. I mean, is that a little crazy or what? Like, look at this. Oh, there you go, Cherie. Unbalanced but visibly balanced. Love that. That's a but, great... Like, oh, um, Gloria, mismatch but matching. matching. Yes. You guys are way better than my off kills. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren's got a whole other thing going on. In my on. brain, it's hot kills. Those are two perfect descriptions. Thank Mismatch, you. but matching. Unbalanced, but now, visibly see, balanced. Even though this is huge, this is more, like, because this is so short, and then this is, like, I can't, I do. <laughs> I have a hard time with that. Yeah. But I this can't. is, this is an interesting look. I can't. <laughs> All right, now, I'm going to take off the earrings that I'm wearing today. Yes, Mom made a pair. I don't know if you noticed them or they not. They are asymmetrical. They are, but they're not as Pronounced. crazy asymmetrical <laughs> as these yeah. pictures. So, they're similar on the top, and I just made one longer mm -hmm. than the other one. So that it just looks a little, like... Mismatched, Gloria, but matching. Matched. So they don't, let me show up. They don't match exactly because this one's longer. The drop's different. But the top yeah. matches, so they're mismatched but matching. So that's like a great description. You know that okay. that's the set of earrings, that they, those are the matching pair. Okay, I'll show you another pair that I made quite a while ago. 
In fact, I have to clean them up. They're tarnishing just a tad, but we're going to ignore that. <laughs> now, these two, the next ones I'm going to show you are the same length, but they're asymmetrical in a different fashion. I did them kind of opposite. opposite. They're the same length, but they're a little opposite in the way they fall. The way the pieces are joined together. So on this one, this piece is at the bottom. On this one, it's at the top. So same length, but oppositely put together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that too, Gloria. You turn, make them, make two, and then turn one upside down and hang it. And there's easy, really easy Toss asymmetrical. Turning. Lauren, that would be another super easy way for you to try yeah. it. Yeah. Connect three things, but hang one from one end and one from the other yeah. end, right? I just, I, I like things to match. <laughs> I know you like things to match. I know. I like asymmetrical. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> All right, here is a necklace Bisu made that you saw recently. Yes, this was recent. We had it on a couple of videos. Which is perfect for asymmetrical in a couple of ways. So we'll start with the bottom part. Why is this asymmetrical? Well, it's kind of it's obvious. Kind of obvious. This side is a little bit higher, and this side is built up with beads. This has the flower. So it doesn't match like it's not all the way across, 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 but it still works. It still works. Oh, nice, Gloria. Yeah. And then what else is asymmetrical? She changed it. two different chains. So the side over here was less. So she made the chain on the side more and the side that had more on the bottom had a lighter were, chain less. So that's see that where you balance the balance. It? So yeah, there's a little less stuff here. So this chain, that side is chunkier chain. So that goes with Cherie's description of the visibly balanced. Right, right. Unbalanced but visibly balanced. Correct. So that's another great example of asymmetrical. And then I'm going to show you something I did. And okay, we're going to have to pop back up, Lauren. Let me get this on. All right, guys, it's time for... <coughs> Time for me to have a water <coughs> choking fit. <coughs> Go grab my Gatorade, would you? Sorry about that. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a little tickle in my throat. So here is where we need a group consensus. So did you ever get an idea in your head? It, not yet. An idea in your head, and you couldn't get it out of your head. You're like... I think I could make this work. Well, I had one of those ideas last night and I couldn't go to bed. I, like I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I was up till after two in the morning last night making this. Lauren was also up late. I was. And you'll see why. We were texting each other at we two were. in the morning. How silly is that? And Knowing the other was up. <laughs> yeah. We this just do. Usual for us. Now I'm gonna put something on and I'm gonna get your opinion. Wait. I'm like um, I'm just getting prepared. Because I'm gonna tell you why. She's so I tell made us this. Why. I made this and I need a consensus. So I made this necklace. Okay, wait, I gotta zoom out. Zoom out. And I gotta get it right. To hang right. Okay, so I made this necklace. Try to zoom in on the necklace if you can. Just the necklace. Just the necklace. Yeah. I will do my Now necklace. I'm gonna I'm gonna get opinions off of you guys. Cause I put this on. Alright, now stay there and I'm gonna zoom in. Don't move. Oh the lighting. Well nope, going. the lighting just went out. Okay. There. Okay. So I made this necklace. For asymmetrical. I had this idea in my head. And I want to know what you think of it. I like it. Once you have it on now, because at first when I just saw it hanging, like in your hand, I'm like, how in the world is this going right. to sit on your neck? So I need opinions, people. I like it. What it's do we think of different. this? Well, I'm going to tell you how I did it in a minute. But what do we think of this? Because when I first put it on, 
All right, you can see there's some pink, and I'll show you. I'll take it off and show you. There's some pink beads going up the side. When I first put it on, Gloria, she was up at 2 a.m. too. Cool. We should have all been on a group text. When I first put this on, I asked my husband. I put it on. He was in bed when I was doing this, so I put it on this morning, and I'm like, well, see, now i got to cook it. Yes, you do. Okay, it needs to go, go to the left. This way. Yeah. Okay, so I put it on. Thanks, Deborah. Oh, Debbie, thank you. She, um, she says fabulous, and Deb yeah, likes can't, it. I can't see. I need to see comments. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, so I put it on, and I, it needs to be a tad shorter. Oops. The lighting's lighting. bad. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, there. Okay, okay. I got it. So I put it on, and I said to my husband, what do you think? Let me see if I can zoom in. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. The lighting's going out. Yeah, okay. I know. I'm trying to get it zoomed where it and I'm trying to get it so that it's not crooked. You're good. Okay. So anyway, I put it on and I said to my husband, what do you think? Are you going to move a little bit? And he's like... The leg's bad again. I don't know what we're doing, Lauren. There. Okay. But then it, it looks crooked. I don't know why it looks crooked. It doesn't. Okay. So I said to my husband, what do you think about this? And he goes, I don't know. He goes, it looks like the necklace went crooked. She he goes, it looks like your... Okay, there we go. Ahead, it looks talking. like your necklace went crooked. And I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah, it looks like it went crooked. And I said, okay. Now, at that point, I had it on just plain chain. Thank you, guys. I'm going to take it. All right, I'm going to take it off now, and, and we'll pull it down to the counter, and I'll explain to you what the deal is. Maybe it's on the phone. You have to... Okay, I'm going to explain what the deal is. No, they don't, Cherie, they don't. Guys don't get asymmetrical, I don't think. But anyway, so I, when I first did it, both sides were just plain chain. And I could see his point. It just looked like it went lopsided, like it just It just fell. looked like it, like it should have been like this, uh -huh. and it tilted yeah okay but then i thought what if i put beads up the chain and then On it the will look intentional that, that looks and it did that flipped. made the difference okay so what <clears throat> oh glory says she has to make herself one now <laughs> never ask a dude right totally you see glory wants yes. to make it she's like i have to make one okay so but here's what i here was the point that i'm trying to make Sometimes you'll make something, and just kind of ignore this because it's not my best assemblage work ever, okay? But I was 2 a.m., and I was just trying to get it done so I could show you. So the, the issue with this was Hi, it needed something. So sometimes when you're making something, don't give up on an idea too quickly because... It could still work. So my issue with this was when this was just chain and this was just chain, it did kind of look like this had gone off kilter. But the minute I added the beads in, it looked intentional. If that makes sense to you guys. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. <laughs> Bisu says it makes sense to her. Or maybe the balance on this was off a little bit and it needed to just pull a little more this way. So, sorry I was- the other way? Sorry, I was fussing with it when it was on. It lays really nicely. Actually, it doesn't move. It but does. Because I was looking in the camera and it looked off. Because you were turning. Yeah, I know. I was Look turning. at the camera. I know. So that was kind of throwing it off. Okay, now show um, us how you made it. Okay, so what I did was... Do you know what I used? I used this. Which is... Typically, a necklace base that we use this way. There's the two hanging holes here, and then there's this bottom hanging hole. Thank you. Yes, Deb, it needed balance Did you on see that Shari? side. She's saying maybe another little small. Yes, or is it yes. Just like and right you, there to... Sheree, you're absolutely right because there's a space there that I need to fill. But like I said, it was 2 a.m., so. And I put paper on this. You'll see I covered it in rice paper. Um, if you zoom in there, you could see there's a little paper showing through. I put, I covered it in rice paper first. And then I, so I had this idea in my head for weeks now 
to turn this piece on its side and do something with it. So I put it like this, covered it with paper, and I hung from this hole and this hole. Now this hole down here, you'll see I covered it. There's a little flower there. If you wanted to, I felt like this swoopy part of the leaf was in the way. If you didn't have that, there's a hole there. You could, you could have hung a drop. Thank you, guys. And see, that's interesting, Mom, that you were able to hang from here and here, but it still hangs right when you put it on Yeah, it hangs like this and then straight. And I liked the look of that. I just was trying to think of something different. Now, something else I thought could be pretty cool, and I don't know. Let me flatten this out a little bit. <laughs> All right, let me show you the number. Oh, Rosa. Here is the number for this one, and we have a bunch of them. Yeah. It's base 01125. And actually, I just put some of these up in the matte black in yeah. our Etsy shop. If but, you like the matte black. We have a, a, a lot of these. There's a whole bag full. And these are done in the brass ox. They're already plated, which but, is yes, nice. But if you're going to cover it completely like mom's, then, I mean, you might as well use the, the brass. But, yeah, so asymmetrical. That's what I wanted to do. It may need a darker... Yeah. Yes. Oh, good. Good, good idea. Good idea. So maybe we need a darker bead up here to draw the eye up. That's a good thought. Because I have these little darker flowers. They're a little bit darker. Maybe I could find a bead that would match with those. So my other idea with this piece, which isn't necessarily asymmetrical. Or maybe you could do one more little leaf just sticking out right there. A little yeah. green leaf. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Just for the petal to stick up so then it looks like it's going up into a Y. Yeah, yeah. Work the neckline on one side instead of the chain because I'm a more... <laughs> nice, Gloria, nice. So, yeah, there's all kinds of... And like I said, this was just me at 2 a.m. trying to make something come to life out of an idea I had in my head. So, and you don't have to do flowers here. You could do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. You could do a row of hearts in different sizes. You could do a big butterfly in the middle and leaves. It could be anything. I played with what I had in my box at home. Um, but I just couldn't get this idea out of my head. You could do seashells. <laughs> right, and then you could add ocean in. But for asymmetrical, I thought this was kind of cool. Now, the other idea I had for these, which is not asymmetrical, well, it kind of is, I don't know, was to put them together like this. Almost like wings? And put, I don't have one here, but like a big cabochon or something in the middle. I don't know how that might work, or, I mean, you, I don't know. I kind of thought maybe like this, but I don't know how that would look. Or if you did this, you could maybe connect it with just like a little piece of ribbon and glue the ribbon, and then you could glue the cabochon so they're not overlapping. Correct. So here's, okay, this is not a cabochon, and it's coming up in it for another reason, but let's take a look anyway. Of course, i got to pick the one that's all wrapped up. Let's pretend this doesn't have a hole in the middle, but like a cabbage on there. I don't know. I don't know if I like this at all, but it's just, this is what I do. I sit and play around you with things. You have to play with bases and basics, jewelry basics, which you'll see with one of my pieces later. Yeah, it's just fun to play around, and, and out of nowhere, you'll come up with an idea, and you'll try to think, oh, maybe that'll work. So, that was my big... Moment. Moray into the unknown. That was your moment. This week, yes. That was my weirdo moment. Oh. That was mom's moment. I had one more thing on ocean and I forgot about it. Woo! Now. Hello. What, right? Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to. Whoa. Okay, yeah, guys, wait till you see this. Holy cow, they're not seeing this. So. I know, but I'm going to put it down there. So when you're thinking ocean, don't necessarily think it has to be... Oh, you're pulling all the way just up? A, okay. Just a little bit, just to see the chains. Keep it's... going, keep going. So this go. was something else I had made quite a while ago. Pull it back down now. Back to the counter. I'm pulling back. I'm just going slow, so it's... Okay, so this... When you're thinking ocean, it doesn't have to be... Ooh, yes! Obvious. Cherie, a stylized crescent moon. Great idea. Um... It does not have to be obvious. The ocean doesn't have to be an octopus, a starfish, a, a thing. 
It can be the colors. Just the colors. Of the ocean. And like, it ocean. looks like waves, like like the water. It, because of those crystals and the transparency of it, it looks like water. This was a bead mix that Bisu That's had gorgeous. a while back. And I just loved the colors together and thought I'd make a necklace out of it. But, and I used these. It's beautiful. Bracelet bars to connect the three chains together. It's beautiful. Thanks. Okay, so that was just something else that I forgot about. Okay. Okay, brooches. Brooches. Brooches Colleen. are big this year. I don't so. think she's on with us yet, but Colleen. All right, so here's something I saw on the web. And you can see all the brooches. With the hood, no less. With the hood. All the brooches <laughs> on the coats. Yeah, sea glass. See, that's what I was thinking, yeah. Cherie. Mm -hmm. Sea glass. Yes. I, that's what I wanted to say. Oh, that's cool. Good thinking. Okay. So all the brooches are on coats, but it says, Raid the archives. This once-dated jewelry trend item is now a major 2024 trend. Brooches. Oh, thank you. Oh, Debbie, thanks. <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying for you guys so bad. Okay. I'll have to post a picture of it so you can see it a little better. Um, let me try on, on, on one of the neck boards. You need to put it on a neck board. Like there's so much to it. Yeah, okay. I'm trying for you guys. Okay, so brooches. <laughs> I really like that. We're going to get there. Okay. We're going to get there. So, Lauren made a brooch. Put this down, Lauren. This was please. actually, um, I made this a while back. This was actually for our Downton Abbey challenge that we had quite a while back. Yep, yep, yep. So, this is the brooch that I made. Oh, Lauren, that is so pretty. Thank you. I love that. So, I used a triangular piece. And then I had like a swag kind of bar piece that I put behind it. And then I just dangled the beads. Oh, that's so pretty. And had this little cab from something in my stash. And yeah. I love it. That's of course, because it's blue. Here, hold it up. You'll be able to see it against your, yeah. Very, very cute. Thank you. Back down. Down, down, down. Down, down. Lady, calm down. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We are we are in our movie quote zone Oops, now. I'm hitting the tripod. These legs keep getting in the way. That is just so pretty. Thank you. Oh, a cluster of different snowflakes on a dark... Oh, Sheree, I bet that was amazing. Are we saying your name right? Sheree, it's Sheree. It yeah. is Sheree? Okay, We good. asked her, Brenda and I. Perfect. The first time she was on, yes. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> now, here's another brooch idea. I can't pick Aww, it up. Aw, thank you. I can't pick it up. Aw, okay. thanks, Deborah. So we have this piece... Oh, yeah, that's a great piece for a brooch. Yeah, and I will show you one and that you I did. you could do decoupage in the middle. You could. If you wanted. Like, you could do, like, one, like, a find a piece of paper that has, like, a word on it. Mm -hmm. And put, like, the word Doesn't there. it, Rosa? It does. Your brooch looks royal. Aw, thank you. Now, this is what I did with the piece. Oh, see, you did have a word, but you had it in a stamping. In, yeah. With the Paris. I, I colorized the frame piece a little bit and just did a tiny mini assemblage. Um, I didn't glue a back on it yet, but I think this could be, this is smaller. And if you don't like giant, okay, I'm going to show you the difference. Look. Okay. Oh, okay. So here is the difference. Some people like really big. Look at this one that Bisu made. Woo! On a coat, could you just die of happiness? Yes. I'm like a big black winter coat. Yes. Like bring us spring right now. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Or, if you're someone who likes things a lot smaller, you can make this a brooch. Okay, it just, you know what else Lauren's this Lauren's having a light bulb I, over her head. You know what else this would be really cute on? Hmm. The front of a bride's bouquet. Oh, wouldn't it? Like, because you know how she holds it? And, yeah. And then, like, people see the front of it. Or, she can make it, uh, like, a wristlet. So, when she's holding the bouquet, you see that in front of the bouquet. Okay, put that, put your hand like that. <laughs> She could wear it as a wristlet, and then, because you hold your hand in front of the bouquet, holding the bouquet, and Look, then that would be in front of the bouquet. 
and like just so this is one that brenda made um a while back i love it as a bracelet <laughs> For right? Okay. How like, cute is that? It hit me. All right, now I okay, will show no. you. Okay, now you want to say ooh la la. Okay, Debbie, are you ready for this? All right. So, B, years ago, B used to make B Sue used to make lady face brooches. Now, this is a really funny story because years and years and years ago, my grandmother had really flashy style. Her house, like in her house, she had vases with ostrich feathers coming out of them and peacock feathers. Didn't that, wouldn't it be cute, Cherie? <laughs> I know, right? Um, she wore denim stilettos. Yeah, my grandmother had denim high heel stiletto shoes. At 76, she was wearing three-inch spike stilettos. Cheetah swing coat. Oh, a hair now, piece. Yes, Christine. Uh, she had a cheetah swing coat, which now I have. It got passed down to me. I wanted well, that. Well, anyway, my grandmother had, like, more of a, a, a bold style, and mm -hmm. I loved it when eclectic. I was a kid. She was eclectic. And when I was a teenager, I just thought she was the coolest thing. Well, I went shopping one day, and I found this pin, and I bought it. Now, mind you, at this time, we who did knew? Not, we had who not, knew? Who knows where fate takes you? Did not know, Brenda. Where the future takes you. say fate, but the, where the future takes you. And... I bought a brooch for my grandmother. Look at this. Who knew I'd be working here one day? B. Sue Boutiques. We still have the card. I this no was back in the day, Brenda used to make these. And I bought it for my grandmother. And she loved it. She loved it. And she saved the card all those years. And whenever she would put it back in her jewelry box, she would pin it back to the card. Right, Cherie? She was fabulous. She had a pair of high-heeled shoes. I used to borrow her shoes whenever we'd go visit. We had the same size shoes. My husband and I would go visit her, and we'd go out. I'd wear all her shoes. I used to clunk around in them when I was three years old. I loved them. She had a pair of high-heeled, three-inch, four-inch stilettos that pumps that had zippers all over them. She, At 76 years old, she was fabulous. She was awesome. I loved her so much. Anyway, so she saved this. And she would pin it back to the card every time she put it away. Thankfully, I got to have her till I was like almost 13 years old. Now, this... In my life. We have some of these faces. Mm -hmm. Similar. We have four of one style and four of another. Okay, now... So, okay, you ready for this? You ready? I don't know if they're ready for Lauren, this. Lauren, say it. You, you ready? ready? I'm ready! She's ready. Okay, <laughs> so here is... Could you go get me a piece of black construction paper? Because this is not going to look right on the counter. So a few years back, I wanted to make something with a face. And some of you may have seen this when I posted it a few years ago. But since we're talking about brooches coming back, I'm going to have to pull her out of retirement and put her back on my coat. Because on my black winter coat, she just popped. This was years ago for a challenge, and I don't even remember what the challenge was that we were doing, but this is a brooch that I made <clears throat> several years ago, and I just asked B. Sue today. Oops, I'm trying to get it so the lighting is good. It's not working. There we go. Okay, I just asked B. Sue today if it was possible to still get these brass faces, and she said we'll look into it and see if we can yeah, get them. Yeah, thank you. Because uh, I would like to try to make a series of these yeah. in different colorations. Or... Yeah. Geisha princess. So I painted the brass. And I, well, you'll see on the back. I glued stuff to the top of her head. I glued a base piece. Uh, a, just a blank base piece and then glued things to it. Um, and I tried to make her look... I don't know. I saw this, this bridal geisha. girl, this Asian bridal girl. She looks girl. like an Indian geisha, a Asian, like it's just like a princess. But on, on, okay, those things just want to go wonky. I they don't do. Know why. But they hang down really nice on on a coat. On a black coat, she looks amazing. Now, oh, I will find you. Look, I'm going to find you. I'll show you why we did this. You were supposed to find something that was an inspiration to you. And we had a challenge years ago here on the creative group. And we were going to 
<laughs> Debbie remembers it. She says it's fabulous. <laughs> oh, thanks, honey. Um, I'm trying to remember what the challenge was, but I'll find it. Give me one second. Okay, here it is. Oh, what, and you uh, just... <laughs> no! <laughs> Why does that happen? I bumped it and it just went crazy. Okay. So here is the post from the challenge and this girl was my inspiration oh, okay so let me zoom in on Here, her hit the picture there okay oh yeah that's yeah. what i need to do like that down and over there that girl was my inspiration that picture and I took that brass face. You can see it laying there before it was painted. Yeah, so she made it have makeup and everything. Who are we talking to? The makeup queen, the makeup artist. So we have to have makeup. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, whoops, this way. She was my inspiration for her. If that makes sense. And I'm doing this. Oh, <laughs> oh sure, yeah, thank I'm you. <laughs> We're glad you're here, girl. We're glad to have you. <laughs> so anyway, I don't remember what the, the the challenge was just to make a brooch. And I don't know was why was? Okay. I had to go way outside the box, but <laughs> when was that? That what you do. 2019. Woo, that was five years ago. That what you do. That what I do. <laughs> I go a little crazy. But you'll see, like if I put it down there, mm -hmm. I want to zoom in on that. Oh, yeah. That it was okay. just a plain brass. No, lighting. Yeah, I'm not doing a good job. Oh. There, there we go. A plain okay. brass stamping, and I just painted her. But anyway. Okay. So that's women. Mm -hmm. I would like to do a series of these in make different the colors. Different. Like maybe one have a fabulous hat, different, maybe a crown something i think these would be really cool but anyway so that was my weirdo brooch okay here's something else i think could make a great brooch the kissing peacocks we have the kissing peacocks now the, this was just silver they come in some of the different platings oh thank you sheree um i did a little sparkle they match the peacocks and i painted this peacock with just some acrylic paint the lunar paste is amazing on these. Mica pearl or the perfect pearls would be fabulous. But I like this one because you could hook the back across this section where there's no holes. But then there's also a hole at the bottom that you could hang a dangle from. And I think that could make a really pretty brooch. Okay. Now, something else that's going on this year when it comes to brooches is somebody mentioned it last week who was it last week that said men are wearing brooches right oh, we did. Yeah, oh thanks it, Deborah. It Derek we were talking about Derek we were talking well somebody else said they had seen it like at an award show or something I did oh was it you yeah I knew somebody did June, I think sent me a couple of clips of stuff Eisenstein Eisenstein yeah 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 sent me a couple of clips I was, hey, did you realize this? And I'm like, yeah, I did. So I didn't tell me more. If you watched, yeah, if you've watched any of the award shows, men are now wearing brooches. I love those, by the way. The little flower, the rosettes. Because we now, talked about the rosettes, too. Some of these get a little carried away for me. Like, okay, here's Derek Huff on Dancing with the Stars. He was, see, every week he would wear some different fancy brooch on his lapel. And he had a different one for every suit. And I thought they were pretty cool. Now, this is just my personal opinion. Take it, leave it, throw it out the window, whatever you want to do. I think that's a bit much for me. Now, he's a celebrity. He can pull it off. I actually think he's pulling that off. Any bigger, though, I'd be like, okay, dude. But if my <laughs> husband came out wearing that, I'd be like, yeah, go put that back. <laughs> no. But, but. Does that mean I think men cannot wear brooches? No. 
Here is an example of something I so think is, is like really nice. Pen. This is more like a stick pin, but and it's the fabric rosette, which again is a trend that we talked Thank about. Thank you, Sheree. Yeah. So this. I like these. And we have stick pins. We do. How simple is this? Here's what I was thinking. Okay, Lauren. I know many, many guys. We were on this. the same wavelength. What are we thinking here? Where were you a minute ago? What? Oh, bridal. Yeah, Wedding. Boutonnieres. Of, yeah. Instead of a boutonniere, this is something he could keep and wear, right? Mm -hmm. Because it won't die. It won't die. Keep and wear later. Yeah. Well, when we did a video not that long ago, me and Visu, and she was doing the hat pins and the stick pins and everything, I'm like, that would look great if you did like a, a more fancier type one, like a metal one, and give it to the guy's boutonnieres. Isn't that cute? And that is actually a trend. Here is one from the Oscars, I think. And I think this is a really cool idea. With the bow tie? He had on a bow tie and, and a brooch right in the middle. Just to jazz it up. Now, would you wear that every day? No, but when you're getting really, really duded up, they go way out. Okay, now see, I would take Derek's over that one. But I think this is really cool. But that's me. Right. Take it or leave like, it. Like, guys, you know, they're obviously not going to wear the same kind of jewelry we wear, but that really dressed things up. But here is my absolute favorite. Now, Dad could pull this And I'm going to make one of these for my husband. And he probably would. Back up. Oh, he would, too. Back this, up a this little is, bit. This, is, this would be Dad's style. I think that is really yeah, cool Jeff. and classy looking. Dad likes watches and rings, and he would This he reminds would me of a pocket that. watch chain. Yeah. Oh, he but on the lapel and then on the little Because he pocket. does pocket squares, my dad. I agree, Gloria. But which who are you talking about, Gloria? The one on the bow tie or, or Derek Huff? But this, I think, is a really classy, um, simple, simple yet stylish. Yeah. Just the little. <laughs> yeah, Cherie, I think this one to me is ma more masculine. What do you think? Yeah, for sure. Like the other ones to me looked a little. I agree. To me, that's just no, my opinion. But Derek definitely is a dude. He's he, I know. Like he's very, like, there's... You. But I just feel like, to me, it's too feminine of a look. But this, I think... Oh, Art Deco would be awesome. What do you think of this one, Sheree? I think this one's masculine. Like I said, it reminds me of a pocket and Gloria watch chain. Oh, the bow tie. She liked the bow tie. Gloria. I know, the bow tie's super cool. Okay. But anyway, so this is just a thought on... You could do a little Art Deco piece here. Because, again, if you're someone that does shows, then you could have... Some things for, for, yeah. for both. Yeah. Skulls and... Ooh! Okay, but <laughs> I know it's a joke. However, I see what you're saying. So you could put things here and there. Yeah, I totally agree. I agree. Okay. Last but not least, what do we have left? Lo oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait before, a minute, we, wait a minute. If, before we disappear from brooches... <laughs> We have a couple more things to show you. I meant to get a picture of this, and I totally forgot. Did you get another one, or is it just these? Oh, yeah. I have other things to show you. Oh, I'm no, so I got one. the black one. Okay. Those are the two that I pulled. Okay. We were, we were I found rushing. a picture of these on the internet as a thing right now, in, as far as brooches go. Safety pin brooches. We have several styles. These are just two of them. So for this one, it has a bunch of hanging holes on the bottom, and you can just hang things from it. Yeah, Shri, I agree. The stone and the chain. It's, I really like that. Oh, totally, Gloria. Walking advertisements for sure. And like Lauren said, I think he pulls it off. But he's a celebrity, and he's yeah. in a certain environment judging a tv he, show he dresses to the that's nines. not something most guys would wear no and every the, day and the day to day i guess yeah. that was my point not that he wasn't pulling it off i think he totally pulls it off my point is i don't think like my husband's not going to wear that but right. he would wear the other one my husband would totally wear that yes so just think about the guy you're making it for and what he likes now this one there is a, a hanging hole you could but i would hang it this way and i would string string beads across the bottom before I close it. So, anyway, those are two other options for, for brooches. And this also I saw on the internet. 
Which we showed this because this is a trend because of bows. This is a trend, bows. And we showed this before. But I saw a brooch today that was a bow with a pearl hanging from it. So now you got three trends wrapped up in one. I would, bows, pearls, and brooches. And see, I like this one with like a little watch face hanging from the bottom. Oh, that would be cute too. All right, moving on. Oh, wait. You're so bad. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot some other beach stuff, but that's fine. Okay, let's go to the I last did one. see, wait, one more thing. I let's did see just today also a pair of earrings. Oh, right, these. That were made out of mermaid tails. Mermaid and we tails. had those. And they looked almost identical to these. Mermaid. Anyway. Okay, last trend. Because we're, we're going over yes, time. Yes, Deborah, I remember that. I totally remember oh, that. Hope you guys are still having fun because we're over time. <laughs> Guys, are we going on too long? Do you want to stick around for hoops? Are we okay? We, we can go fast. Are we Are we boring you to tears? Do we want to do hoops? Do we want to stick around for hoops? What do we think? We'll give you a second to decide. I didn't real, we've got, we got so engrossed in this, I didn't realize how long we were going. We do have some cool stuff for hoops. They aren't your basic hoops. I will say that. If that helps with your decision. <laughs> What do we think? Yeah, oh, Sharia. Yes. yes. Okay. What are we thinking about the hoops, guys? Keep going for a few minutes and talk about hoops. Yes, no, maybe. We need someone to break the ice and tell us. <clears throat> Have we worn out our welcome? <laughs> Stay on, please. Okay. All right. We're staying. Okay. We're staying. All right. So, hoops. This is our last thing of trends for 2024. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that I saw, okay, one of the things that they're saying is a big trend for 2024. Of course, we all know basic Oops. hoop earrings. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Thanks, guys. Oh, you guys are the best. Okay. We all know a basic hoop earring. But do we do basic here? No. No, we do not. So I was like, dude, how can I do hoops that is not just, it's a hoop. Right. It's a <laughs> hoop. It's a hoop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, but one of the trends is huggy hoops, okay? I'm making faces right now. Lauren's like, what's a huggy hoop? They are ones that are close to your ear. Oh. And I'm going to Like it's giving your ear a hug. <laughs> yeah, kind of, basically. Now, we have some, and I'm going to show you this. And these are clip-on style, These actually. are clip-on style. So for those of you that do not have pierced ears. You get a set of six. There they are. And I'm going to hold this up here so you can see. And these now, are for beading and wiring. Right. That's what I was going to say. That is what's so cool about these. Look at the front. There's itty bitty, whoops, itty bitty little holes to do wiring and beading, like sort of like the Haskell design. Could you imagine with little pearls all over so it? So pearls trend. You could do little fabric, tiny flower buds trend. With the right? rosettes. Here, let's show. So these are, like, there's the back open. It's a little clip-on. <laughs> Cherie. <laughs> oh, the, the hoops are the poop. Okay. So, the, oh, there, you can see the holes a little better there. But these yeah. are little huggies. How cute are these? Okay, so I'm going to get me some of these. Me too. I'm going to get me some of these, and I'm going to try to wire something on here. Okay. I just found these on our site today. I'm like, I totally forgot we had these. So. And right. if you're doing shows, that'd be great because you can make three pairs of earrings right there. And out of one package. Out of one package. Right. Okay. So that's a. Uh, right? Wouldn't those be so fun? Okay. What else can we do in hoops that's not your everyday basic hoop? I. Oh, I'm so mad at myself now. Lauren. What? I just pulled these out of here. I have a pair of earrings that I made with these. Oh, you do, don't you? I, I do, and I, for, I totally forgot them. It was your Build-A-Line. Totally forgot. Yeah. But we have these turquoise, well, they're highlight, I think. Yeah. They're the Chinese turquoise, I think. Okay, let me show that. Let me try to do And now one. these need wire wraps. No. No? You know what I did? What did you do? Oh, John? No. What did you do? I, I used one of those... Um, clasps, bales that you pinch. Oh. And I put it through there and then I pinched Aren't it. you nifty? And then I hung a, can you go get one? Wait, I'm going to get your picture up. 
I'm going to try to find your picture. I put you the talk. bail through it and pinched and then hung a, ju a jump ring from the pinched bail. Right? Yeah, Sheree, wouldn't that be so cute with pearls on those huggies? But anyway, these hoops, you could wire, wire wrap them. I would use 20 gauge wire. It's sturdier. Now for the huggies, if you're asking about the huggies, Anne, I would use 28 gauge. It's much thinner and easier to work with when you're pulling it through those little holes. But to wire wrap something like this, I'd probably use 20 gauge or 24. Oh wait, it wasn't your belt. No, it wasn't. I Can you go was. grab one of those? You'll see it in the clasp drawer. Yeah. Lauren will be right back and I'll show you what I do with those. But moving on, hoops. What else can we do with hoops? B. Sue had a video recently where she showed, and you can always go back and watch that, where she showed how to make hoop earrings from these bases. Remember these? Oh, yes, leather. Super cute. Did that answer your question, Anne? But you remember these? Bisu just used these recently. There's a video she showed how to string beads on these and make hoops. So we're not going to do that in this video because she already did that. But I just wanted to show you. I'll show you. We have, they're two different sizes. One is 40 millimeters. That one. And this one, and I'm putting them in the wrong bag, Diane. Get it together. This one, and we have other colors too. This is the gold one that's smaller, the 30 millimeter. Okay, tell me if this is the right one. This is the one that you made. You want like with these? No. They're it's bigger. Good. They're bigger the in silver. Ones? Okay. That's like a leaf. Sure. It looks like a yeah. leaf. Okay. So that's another idea with hoops. And then two other ideas. I love me a gypsy hoop. And I forgot the one I wanted to show you, of course, because that's what I do. But here are two. What's a gypsy hoop? Well, a gypsy hoop has holes that you can hang from the bottom, like this, and throw a lot of dangles on. We have them in the hearts. I found this one. Oh, wait, no, this is closed. Yeah, you're looking for the wrong stuff, girly. Oh, yeah. Hold on, let me just look it up first. We have one with birds in a teardrop shape. We also have another one that's a big oval or, or teardrop, like a great big one with no birds or anything. If you type gypsy into the search box, you will find it. But I love doing those. And of course I had some, did I bring them? No. Um, I love doing those because I think those are a different take on a hoop. Um, this one. Yes, that one. Okay. And those are a different take on a hoop. And then as soon as Lauren comes back, she's going to show you some fabulous hoops that she made. And if you would like, on another video, she'll give you a demo. In the meantime, I'm going to show you these mermaids for beach theme because I totally forgot about them. They make great earrings. Or you can just use one as a pendant. I love her. She's easy to colorize, too, if you like the mermaid thing. All right, wow. so Lauren found the right bag. I found it. Finally, I have to look it up. Okay, so it this hiding. is what I use, this piece, and I'm going to show you. So it is what we call a pinch bale. There's a space between it. You can mm -hmm. see there. So I just took the hoop, put it around it like this, and then pinched. You might want to put just a teeny, teeny little dab of glue. Yeah, I did. So too. once you pinch it together, you can put a little bit of glue in there. On that little pinched little... On those little, little nubs. studs. Those yeah. little studs to hold it together. But you would just pinch this closed and then hang a jump ring. Very clever. And you have... Because I am, I am not good at wire wrapping, just let me say. So this would be... <laughs> it was easier. Yes. For sure. Ooh, Sheree, yes, I love gypsy hoops. I'm so glad we're giving you ideas. That's the whole point of this. And if we weren't, I'd feel really sad and sorry for myself. Because I didn't do a good job. Okay, now Lauren's going to show you a pair of hoops she made. And I'm telling you what... 
She stopped me in my tracks with this because. Oh, stop it. No, wait. Because. Stop it. I thought that she used one of these and strung beads on it. And when you see it, you're going to know why I thought that. Okay, right? Now, don't doesn't that look like Lauren just took one of those? Oh, thanks, Sheree. But Lauren just took one of those hoops and slid some beads on it? But no, she did not, my clever girl. I created the hoop myself. She did. Now, Brenda thinks, if you guys would like to see, that Lauren should do a little <laughs> video on this. On how she did this. She will tell you right now what she did. But if you want to see her do it in action, let us know. And she will make you a little video. I'm going to hold and you explain. Okay, so this is where my little tip earlier, my little hint, hint, if you caught it. Where I said you really have to think about your basics again and in a new way and how you're using them. Because... That's all I did. I used basics. I used eye pins, beads, which are the round beads, and also the spacer beads, and jump rings. That's it. Guys, this is a bent eye pin. It's a bent, a curved eye pin. She just strung the beads on it and curved it. Same thing up here. And then, and I, then she connected it together. I jumps to connect the two curved eye pins. There's her little jump. One on that side and one on this side. I mean, come on. And then there's a little trick to then how you hang it. Okay, so if you want to see Lauren do a little video on this, let us know. But how clever is she? Yeah. Oh, don't worry, Deborah. We're going to post it. As soon as we're done, we'll post it. And... Um, you can watch the whole thing from the beginning. And yes, please, Lauren, video. Okay. Okay. But, I mean, how clever is she? I looked at that and thought she must have strung. See? What a clever <laughs> girl you are. <laughs> right? I, I looked at those and I was like, oh. oh. Thanks, Rosa. I said, oh, you used that hoop and strung the beads. And she was like, nope. No, no I did not. I created the hoop myself. She didn't have a hoop, so she made her own hoops. I, To be honest, it's just me. I have a hard time with those beading hoops. I, I don't, don't. I like them. I don't like them. I do. I don't like them. But if them. you don't, here you go. So, <laughs> I made Lauren, them. what is that from? What? What a clever girl. What's uh, that from? Uh, Our uh, movie clothes. Come on. No, that one I don't know. I'm sorry. Clever girl. What is that? I don't know that one. I don't know. Does anybody know? <laughs> you got me. <laughs> right? Seriously. I never would have guessed. I thought she just strung them on a hoop. No. Little. Th Stop thinking outside the box, that girl. And Debbie, I'm very sorry. I did not bring it with me. I had it out to bring it and walked off without it. But oh, I, I forgot have... to show the number for these, for the huggies. There's the number if you want the little huggy hoops. Ear... Zero four one zero four. But I have a picture. Okay, so this is what I started kind of like my when my brain was going for hoops and I was trying to think of like inspiration and how it could be a hoop but different. This is kind of Oh that's cool too. The inspiration. If you want to string seed beads or something, but yeah. I get that But I wasn't finding beads like that and but it's the bent head pin, eye pin, you can use whichever one you want. I had silver eye pins, and then the one hoop is already done for me. But then I just used bigger hoops and made a complete hoop. Super cute. Cherie wants to know if it's my fair lady. I don't know. It's driving me nuts. Um, but I have, because Debbie, you were asking for a resin. It could be, Cherie. You were asking for a resin video. Okay, so this is off track now, but we're talking about videos. And yes, Gloria, you can make your own eye pins with wire. Yes, you and can. And in that case, I would say for sure a heavier gauge. Yes. Like 20, 20 gauge. 20 gauge would be the best. I'm not sure what gauge mine were, but they probably were 18 or 20. I'm going to mm -hmm. guess. Um, 
But okay, so who here likes nature? Any nature buffs out there? Who likes nature? Who likes to go hiking, go to the beach, go to the mountains, any of those things? What are you showing, Lauren? I'm going to show a picture. This is for a video. So I have two videos that I've talked to B. Sue about. So I'm going to see if you guys are interested in this, if I can get my picture. Do we like nature? Okay, guys, all day long I'm going to okay. be thinking about that line. Such a clever girl. <clears throat> I can. Hi, Millie. Millie's come to visit. So I made a nature scene. Oh, you live in the forest, Cherie. Yes. Okay, Ooh, you like nature. Okay. Nice. So I made a pendant. Okay, wait. So no, Deborah. Those beads are actually beads that No, they, they're coiled. They're coil beads. Mm-hmm. They already come that way. How yep. good are those? We sell them on the site. Search coil. Mm-hmm. Or silver beads, either. So, yes, Lauren may have a nature video coming up, too. You never know. But. Using resin. But definitely one of the she's going to be doing the hoops. And then don't forget, guys, too, we're also going to be doing soon a video. You could probably bring this back up so I'm not looking at a plain old counter. Um, we're going to be doing a... Um, what did we talk about? Oh, navigating the website video. Mm -hmm. How to navigate the I website. Asked for that. Mm -hmm. I'd rather you did it than me. <laughs> okay. Well, we, we um, want to make it easy for you guys to find what you're looking for. So we're going to do maybe, do you think next week, Brenda? Yeah. Okay, next week. Yeah, because, you know, let me just hop on there with you. Guys. Sure. Come say hi. I'll say hi. I'm going to move out the way. And let Brenda say hello. Hey guys, I am. Come on, cuz I'm having a bad hair. <laughs> Do you care? Do I care? Oh my goodness, that hair is yellow. <laughs> we're trying. We're trying to correct the color so that it matches the front, but my hair just wants to go yellow, not white. So anyway, that's a long story. But um, yeah, um, we're finishing up the class tomorrow. No. Friday is the last project day, and once that project is made, I will show you how my stuff finished up. But if you have been on the creative group or the workshop group or, you know, stuff like that, uh, you might have seen it. It's pretty spiffy. Also, if you go back to my last Instagram chat, which was on Monday, I showed you how to do it on there. Because usually when I would do something on a class, I don't share it off the class for a while because students have paid for it. But I've been doing that technique since 2014. It's nothing new. So, but I wanted to show you how it would look if you used the iris and then the forever blue perfect pearls together. Oh my word, it's beautiful. And we're getting more of those. Yeah, they're today or tomorrow, I think, are coming in. We have a few on the site now, but more is coming. Yeah, so anyway, so I'm just letting these girls have at it for a few more weeks till I get all of that caught up and get uh, myself rerouted. I just packed the last box. So if any of are waiting for boxes, it's probably going to go tomorrow because I think it's going to be too late for them to run labels. But anyway, they're done. They're going out and hopefully they will arrive for you quickly and that'll be great. Because I, I checked each bag three times. One, I had to take four, four times the green waterfall because there's so many pieces to it. I had to be sure they were right. But they are right. If they're not, you get your bag. Just, you know. In the meantime, one last thing I'd like to tell you too. I don't know if you girls remember, but today is the last day for the 25 four days 
discount, which is 25, F-O-U-R-D-A-Y-S, no spaces, all caps, discount. If you use that code at the checkout, if you have $35 in your cart, which is not a huge order, you can put that code in and it'll give you 25% off. Is that nuts or what? That's going away. Tomorrow it will not be there. So if you've got a cart in progress or plan to make one, check it out. Oh yeah, 25% is a big deal. Yeah, 25% is a big deal. It's a big deal for me to give it to you, you know. But I like to do something once in a while that makes it fun and people like that too. So, you know, I can do that for a little while. Now it has to go revert back. And, so it'll be um, for a little bit longer after that, it'll be on a hundred dollars. So you can get on 35 right now today. Okay, that's all I have to say about that. So I, <laughs> and I'm gonna go finish doing my hair because it looks awful. Oh, Brenda. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna finish up here. And um, so next week, come back, join Lauren and I, and we will be doing a video on navigating the website, showing you the easiest ways to find the things you're looking for, maybe categories that you hadn't seen before, um, and different ways, did I already say that? Different ways that you can find the same things. So maybe if one way is not resulting in the search you want, try it another way and we'll show you all about it. You might it. find it quicker a Another way. way. So we'll show you all about that next week and then you can come and ask questions about how would I find this, how would I find that, what category is this in? So if that's something that you think would be helpful, come join us next Wednesday.